and now what we have to cover is the admin roles users and I mean user groups right so for that you have to go to devices and the uh, administrators so now to see um, the admin who has logged in is you have to go to the bottom left corner if you see the name you see you are logged in as admin you have the option of log last I mean log out as well as you have the last login time and all so all these details can also be seen on the dashboard uh, you have a widget uh, wherein you s can see all the users uh, and their roles and the time and the type of uh, access they are in right for example here I am inside the web console and I am also inside the CLI uh, but this is through console if I do a putty that would be a separate one so for example I'll go and I turn uh, I just uh, run my putty and I can just SSH into 192.168.1.105 and lock in and it will prompt me for the username password uh, and then okay I just entered the blank username so it will obviously not let me log in okay I just need to restart the session uh, okay good right click restart now it should prompt me for the username and when I log in I would see the details in this widget as well login as admin password done so now I'm here if I refresh this one I should see another admin logged in as from the CLI the console is different it's like the directly logging um, using the console port but uh, this one is SSH CLI right so you can see I am also logging through CLI I am logging through console and I'm logging through web so this is uh, where you can see the users who are uh, logged in currently and also if you go to the monitor section in the system you should see these details uh, about the um, events that are happening if you go here it's still loading okay now in the device uh, let's create some more users and uh, then I will talk about the admin rules so you can create a user say this is my uh, say guest user and you can attach an authentication profile if you have any uh, uh, TACX or radio servers uh, I will create the user locally so I will say the password at test at the rate 123 test at the rate 123 I'll create this uh, user and password profile you can give a password profile wherein you can uh, ask the um, user to have a particular set of uh, password policies before it can log in right so i can give the type of role uh, which can be super user read only device administrator device administrator basically can do anything and also super user can do anything but these other two are just read only that means you don't have access to the um, you cannot create any objects or um, you cannot make any changes you can just have a look at the uh, device settings and uh, configurations that's it that's read only so for example i make this as uh, super user read only um, the guest user and i'll say okay and after this i would have to commit basically and here what i was telling you about the commit all changes and the commit changes made by me uh, so this is where you can um, either commit all changes made by all the uh, users or else just you what changes you made you can just put in a difference for example added guest user and commit and let this commit For the time being, I can close this um, job 
and then i will talk about the admin roles so admin roles is basically uh, so you uh, either you give a user a dynamic role or you set up these roles and based on that role uh, a user will get access to certain um, i mean uh, certain level of access to the device okay so you basically uh, define the role first and then you attach all uh, i mean some of the users to that role and that user will automatically take all the uh, attributes from that role for example you have couple of um, roles that are already created like the audit admin now you can see what type of access this audit ad admin has right so this is um, i mean giving you very granular control over the uh, type of uh, access you want to grant to any user the, uh, the first tab is basically uh, defining the uh, web ui uh, so i if if i don't want any uh, so this is like an admin so it it should have access to all those uh, options so it has access to all the monitor uh, i mean the monitor tab itself then inside monitor tab it doesn't have access to the session browser and also policies objects networks you don't have access now in inside the device tabs which is this one you don't have access to set up high availability uh, co config audit all those stuff right this is like authorization uh, so like you or you don't authorize um, a user who which is an audit admin to uh, have access to for example say device setup high ha and all those stuff in the web gui right and also if you see on the dynamic updates and all it doesn't have access to the software and the uh, dynamic uh, global protect updates uh, updates or the dynamic update right and uh, this is how you actually uh, restrict a user based on the role and also this is for the api calls it doesn't has access to any api and also in the cli uh, you can just restrict this user to have uh, i mean a certain level of access so this is for the rest api which is basically used for the uh, automation call of the uh, i mean um, other softwares to the uh, parallel to device but if you assign any user this uh, role which is the audit admin so that means it will not have access to all the gui so let let's uh, create a user and assign him this audit uh, admin uh, role and see what changes uh, i can see and also you can create new admin roles manually right you can define this is my say read only or some guest whatever then you can define whatever access you want to give okay you i want to give access to the dashboard i don't want to give the access to the action and command center no monitors and policy no nothing objects yes i want to give access to objects but certain objects not global protect not the uh, security profiles right no decryption profile no sd wan no scheduling and then the interface yes i want to give info access but i don't want to show them the zones I don't want to show them the virtual routers, IPsec, GRE. So this is the level of access that you can uh, restrict users, right? So I can go like this. I can say no cross, nothing like that, right? Then set OK. So now I have a new user role, which is read only. So let's create two more users. One I will give admin access, one I will give read only, OK? So let's go to the administrator now. The first one I created with the read only super user, but that was a dynamic role. But now this one, I will say this is my read only name of the user uh, and the password. Mm, I'll keep the password same for every user so that I remember this, um, but the role I will give them the role based. So this is my read only. So I'll give them the one I created read only and okay. Then I have another one audit user. I will add a new user and say audit like this and then the password and then basically I'll come to the administrator type role based and I want to give them the audit admin a role okay now I will commit these changes and then I can log out of the console and log in using any other user so I'll say created multiple users based on admin roles just a, a description so that I can con I mean, identify this in my save changes 
So let's wait for the commit to continue. I will close this task. Here now what I can do is I can go to my say I can I can open up a browser, new tab, new window I can say and I can go to this same one ninety two one sixty one one five. Now I have a uh, one open one tab open in my uh, cognitive window, so and one in my normal window. So I will I'll wait for the job to co commit fully, and then I can uh, uh, try my users that I've created and and check what is the difference between them. Right. Okay, so the changes are committed successfully. Now let's go to my browser, which is uh, this one. Now I have one user with audit username, and the password is test at the rate one two three, which is same for all. Now I will log in as the new user, audit, and test at one two three. This not taking. Maybe I will refresh this. let me check the username again so I'll go here and it's capital A maybe that is the problem yep so now I'm logged in as the audit user but then I will not have access to certain um, features of my Palo Alto let's see what is the difference between an administrator and the other users that I create based on roles it may be dynamic roles as well so let's wait for this now I want to see what uh, things I have uh, restricted this user from so I this is the audit admin I can go to our uh, admin roles and go to audit admin and see so I will not have access to dashboard in ACC the first thing that is and also I will not have access to the objects yeah no network no policies okay uh, so no policies no object no network so these three tabs will not be available for my audit users uh, if I go here and my this one yeah so you can see yeah so this is my audit user and I don't have access uh, basically to most of the things but just the monitor tab and the device tab and also in the device tab and the monitor tab this is like limited very limited so I, I have given this user the access to the log so that he can monitor and see what all things are going on so I've given access to all the logs and inside device also there is very limited access so this is just for logs right uh, so this is the audit uh, now let's log out and now if you go to the admin actually uh, this one is the admin I have access on the dashboard and I can see that a user named audit has logged in via the web CLI. Yeah, so that's very useful uh, information. And also, if I go here in the bottom left, I can see I'm the audit. Now I will just log out here and log in uh, with the new user. Uh, the second user which I created was if I go to devices administrators and it was basically read only I think yeah read only so I will go there and then I'll add the last I will check the use uh, guest user which was a dynamic role so I'll go into my 
device so it is read only make sure it's case sensitive test add one two three enter now i'm lo logging in as the read only user but it will have more access than the audio user let's see the difference i want to go to this uh, admin um, user and i want to see what access i've given to the read only user and that has a custom role uh, if i go here and i have read only this one given to my read only user so i shouldn't have access to the dash uh, board but not acc monitor and policies okay it's getting locked in no ACC tab no monitor tab no policy tab eh? yeah you can see that so I do have access to the dashboard for this read only user but I don't have access to the monitor and ACC and the policies tab here. and I can see all these users are even inside the dashboard I have limited access to the widget widgets objects I can see but again limited number of objects what about network if I go yeah again in the network also I have um, I mean uh, limited the access to this user and device I think it's uh, available there yeah so again I can go to the admin user and I can in the dashboard I can see the uh, user that has logged in as the uh, read only should be there yeah read only nice so next uh, yeah that's the whole story of the administrators and the admin roles